Good day everyone! Let us continue our lesson in English 4, first quarter, week 2. Our objectives for these lessons are using dictionary and finding the meaning of words, using thesaurus and finding the meaning of words, and use resources such as online resources to find the meaning. Okay, let's start it with the game. Click the dictionary book if your answer is true and box if it was. Number one, a dictionary is made up of the two words listed in alphabetical order. Two, there is no guide words for dictionary and thesaurus. Three, a thesaurus is a book that gives the synonyms Antonyms of a word. Let me answer now. Let's have this activity. Just the letter of the great thing of words using this dictionary page. Number one, it means missing arrangements of sound. A neat, B melody, C melody. The answer is C. Rough and often noisy. Number 3. During intramurals, students from different schools are having inter school blank to complete. A. Meet. B. Mega. C. Melly. D. Melody. is a meat. What is the antonym for the word mega? A. Enemies. B. Chumbo. C. Meatshead. D. Land. The answer is Synonyms of the word melody, except A. Harmony, B. Score, C. Tune, D. Play. The answer is Score. 6. Which pair of words are antonyms? A. Harmony tune, B. Brawl rockus, C. Avoid catch, D. Massive jumbo. The answer is C. Avoid catch. Seven. When your friend says, let us meet, she means A. Let us avoid B. Let us escape C. Let us evade D. Let us catch up The answer is, let us catch up Number 8 You use blank Want to know the synonyms and antonyms of word A. Dictionary B. Desirous C. Atlas D. Index The 
the answer is thesaurus. And nine, what are you going to use if you wanted to know the name of a word you do not understand? A. Dictionary B. Thesaurus C. Atlas D. Index Okay, it's dictionary. It's number 10. Which of the following is a sample of online resources? A. Dictionary B. Thesaurus C. www.meriam-webster.com D. Glossary The answer is... 10. Our lesson is using dictionary in finding the meaning of words. Simple paragraph. Choose the letter of your answer inside the box. Number 1. It states the main idea of the paragraph. The answer is... A. Topic sentence. Number two. What part of the simple paragraph tells the main idea? The answer is A. Topic sentence. Number three. This explains and supports the main idea. The answer is B. Supporting sentences or supporting details. 4. Which part of the paragraph is this? Mammals are vertebrates. The answer is A. Topic sentence. 5. Therefore, if an animal has no buckles, they are invertebrates. The answer is Let us read the poem. Smiling is infectious by Spike Milligan. Smiling is infectious. You catch it like the flu. When someone smiled at me today, I started smiling too. I passed around the corner and someone saw my grin. When he smiled, I realized I'd pass it on him. I thought about the smile, then I realized it's work. A single smile, just like mine, could travel round the earth. So if you feel a smile begin, don't leave it undetected. Let's start an epidemic quick and get the world infected. What are the underlined words in the poem? Infectious, worth, flu, undetected, grim, and epidemic. Do you know the meaning of these words? What do we use when we don't know the meaning of the word? Okay, we use dictionary. A dictionary is made up of unnatural words listed in alphabetical order. Each entry states how a word is pronounced and what the word means. There are two words that is printed at the top of each dictionary page, and we call these as guide words. So this is an example of a guide words. So, there are two words that are on the top of a dictionary page. The left is the first word and the words from the right is the last word from a dictionary page. Now, you can do it. What is the last entry word on this page? The answer is... 
letter D. Number two, what is the definition of plankton? Look at the definition of The answer is letter A. What word means to act, approach, or attack suddenly or without hesitation? The answer is The answer is letter C. Number four, what part of speech is fierce? The answer is letter A. Five, father paints a wall red. What does the word paint mean? The answer is letter B. Our next lesson is using thesaurus and finding the meaning of words. Click the check if the pair of words have the same meaning. And click the X if not. Let us study this. How were the words arranged in this page? It's arranged alphabetically. What part of the speech was found on the word evil? Adjective. What are the synonyms and antonyms of the word abolish? Synonyms are dissolve, cancel, and avoid. The antonyms are allow, permit, fix, continue. What do you call a book where you can see a synonyms and antonyms of a word? We call it thesaurus. How do we use a thesaurus? Is arranged very much like a dictionary. In an alphabetical order, it has a guide words and entries. A thesaurus entry usually has a head word in bold. It has a part of speech, and we have the synonyms and the antonyms. Synonyms are words that have the same meaning, and antonyms are words that have opposite meaning. We can use resources such as online resources to find the meaning of words. For instance, when the dictionary is not available, we can use online resources like www.dictionary.com or www.merriam-webster.com.